am so excited to have one of my mentees here today. I was able to actually see her growing up through high school, putting something on the vision board, and now seeing it come to fruition while a college student is definitely a pleasure. You all, please welcome Mercedes Graham. <laughs> because I remember when you talked about starting your business and now you have one. Let's start off by actually sharing with everyone what it is that you actually offer while being a college student. Okay, so I started off as just a hairstylist, a book with bins, and then I decided to expand my business to sell clothes and lashes. That's how Ben's Beauty Bar came about. I saw the demand for you know, stylish clothes, going out clothes. You know, college girls love going out. And going out is like a common thing. When you're stressed from doing schoolwork and group activities and group projects, you just want to let go and let free. And so all the girls will be going all the way to Houston to find an outfit, to find a hairstylist, to get their makeup and hair done, their lashes. And I'm like, well, I can provide that for you because mm. I need it too, you know? Come on. <laughs> she said, well, I can provide it because I need it too. Come exactly. on. It's I all love about that. the supply and demand. So I decided to bring Ben's Beauty Bar to PV to help the girls out. Awesome. I love this. So you started out by doing hair. You've always been doing hair, even while yeah. in high school. Did mine a few times. Mm -hmm. And then you said, okay, I'm going to expand. So yeah. you went into selling lashes, right? Yeah. And then that grew into now selling clothes. Oh, yes. my goodness. And you did this all in the middle of a pandemic. Am yes. I correct? Okay, yeah. so tell me, how did that actually become about? Because I know, okay, you saw the demand, but... There was still the demand while being in a pandemic? Yes, of course, because there would be, you know, small gatherings. So when you were able to get out, they needed things right on hand, right? Because, you know, all the stores were closed. So they yeah. really didn't have any access to anything then. So that's how my business began to expand. More people found out about me during the pandemic because I had everything on hand. I could travel to them. I could set aside everything day to day. And so they had it right when they needed it. I love that. And she said she was sanitizing it day by day. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love it. So you were going to them when needed. Yes. Okay. I okay. I love that. And you were able to see from that, yes. seeing your business expand and going even further. Yes. And starting out, it was really scary because you never know the response you'll get, if people will support you. You never know what price point to start at. But it's like, you just have to let go and let God, like seriously. Yeah. You have to believe in yourself. So I got the lashes. I priced them at a point that's good for all college girls that I know that I would pay myself. Mm -hmm. But I also didn't underprice myself because that's important. You have to yeah. know your worth. Okay. Oh, yes, because you have to know your worth and add tax. <laughs> so it was a little scary in the beginning, but I let all the fear go and I just dove into it and it's been successful since. I love that. I love that, Mercedes. And I love that you said you had to pay attention to the price point, something that you yes. would pay mm -hmm. for as a college student because exactly. that's your clientele. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to also make sure that you weren't undercutting yourself. So you didn't want to price it too low, but you didn't want to price it too high either. So share with us how you were able to come up with the right price point. Hmm. Okay, so first I looked at the people who does sell lashes. I wasn't the first to start selling lashes at PV, you know? And so with that, I had to have competitive prices, something that'll beat their price, but not as much so that I won't undercut myself. Mm -hmm. And that I could also make a profit because I'm a college student. This is my job. My business is my job. You know? Yes. My life. So what I did was I saw all the prices that the other girls were charging. And the reason I decided to actually start selling lashes is because I saw that the other girls were overpricing their things. Mm. They would be like 15 to $18 for one pair of lashes. And I'm like, the girls, they need someone who understands, who aren't just trying to take their money. So I saw that the other lashes were a bit high, a bit pricey. So I found a good profit margin, and I went as low as I could with still having a good profit, and that's what I did. And so I also give deals for if you buy more than one pair, you know, because girls need something that will last. So they buy three, five pairs at a time. So I discount them for that. 
and yeah, they love it. I love that too. I think that that's really great because it's about getting them to buy more than one pair, exactly. right? And, and also, yes. my lashes are very fluffy, curly, and wispy. A lot of lashes aren't like that. Mm. If you go to the beauty supply, they'll just be like straight, flat, no life, no volume. And I made sure that all my lashes, I have some on right now. These are Royce. These are the most natural lashes. They give off the more lash extension look, and I really love them, and the girls love them too. And they're really mm. hard to find, so. Mm. <laughs> okay, get them come at Ben's on. Beauty Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's Beauty Bar, y'all go ahead and get it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay, so that's really great. I love that you said, okay, you wanted to make sure that you still had a great profit margin, but yeah. you were not going to, you know, um, cheat people out exactly. of their money, especially mm -hmm. being a college student. Yeah. So I think that that's really great. Because even though they'll pay, I won't do it. Yeah. Because it's about what's right and what will work for everyone. Yeah. Not just a certain group of people. Come on. That's called integrity, and that's what will get you long further, yes. longer. Yes. I love that. I love that. Thanks. So tell me, you know, what inspired you to become an entrepreneur in the first place? I've always had the desire to carve my own path, to run things on my own time, to be able to have free time whenever I could. And also being a hairstylist, I have to be very flexible and available. Mm -hmm. And having a job is kind of hard to do while being a college student and while being a hairstylist. So being an entrepreneur gives me the chance to set my own schedule to move at my own pace while being a college student, a hairstylist, and an entrepreneur. So those three things together could be really hectic, mm -hmm. and I have to have time management. That's what has, it has taught me, really, time management. And being an entrepreneur is great because you can have the time for yourself, your clients, and school without the hassle of reporting to someone. Mm, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I love that you said that you wanted to be able to create your own path, yes. carve the, your own way, and also have the flexibility for your customers yes. that you already had with exactly. doing hair. They love how flexible and available I am. Mm -hmm. At the drop of a dime, I could just go to them, mm -hmm. and that's what I love about it. That's awesome, and that's how you keep your clients coming exactly. back, right? <laughs> yes, they know you're going yes. to be available. I love that. I love that, Mercedes. Now, I remember when you were in high school, and you would always talk about you're wanting to have your own shopping center. Yes, I was always so shy, though. Yeah. And I never would just go out and do it because being around the same people your whole life, like mm. in high school, it's hard because you know how they are, and you know well, you think you know who will support you and who won't support you and mm -hmm. what they want, but you just have to go into it to really know. Yeah, and I, and I believe with you going into college, stepping away from something mm -hmm. that was familiar, yes. you were able to truly become yourself. Yes, Ch changing my environment, I got the chance to grow, to learn, and to experience new things. Yeah, I think that that's really great. I love, 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 love that. Is there anything in particular that you learned from a particular person that has helped you to go down this path of entrepreneurship? Yes, well, first, my mother was always, um, she always told me, don't worry about what other people say or think, just do what you need to do. And with that, I learned to not always consider other people's opinion. Well, I consider it. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, I consider it, but I still go down my own path because mm -hmm. at the end of the day at the end of the day you never know. Yeah. You never know what will be successful, what will fail. Failing is a chance to try again, to learn from your mistakes and to do it again. But luckily I haven't failed. I'll yes. never fail. <laughs> I love I'll that. never fail. I'll always keep going and keep striving and getting better. I love, love, love mm -hmm. that. Luckily I haven't failed. You better come on and say it. <laughs> <laughs> so when we think about where you are today, which you have grown your business so much in such a short time frame, yes. where are you going to be when you graduate? Hmm. Well, by the time I graduate, which is in 2023, I plan to have my storefront, Ben's Beauty Bar, be on the lookout. It will be my boutique where my lashes and clothes and more will be. Actually, in six months from now, I'll be adding to Ben's Beauty Bar. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. I love that. Yes. I love that. So you're yes. consistently expanding, and you exactly. already know when you graduate, you're going to have that storefront. I exactly. love that. Where do you want your storefront to be at? In Houston, but I also want to expand to Port Arthur because mm -hmm. that's my hometown, and I want to give back to my community and have something for them, at, priced for them, mm -hmm. and you know, 
it's my hometown. I have to. I always want to give back to your hometown. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So we know where you want to be by 2023. Where will we see Mercedes, let's say, 10 years from now? 10 years from now, I'll have my upscale lounge. I'll have my beauty salon. I have Ben's Beauty Bar. And who knows what's to come after that? Yes! You better come on and say it. I told y'all she was talking about a shopping center when she was in high school. Yes. <laughs> and she's going to get there. I yes. love, love, love that. Ooh, that was good. But before we continue the conversation, be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe i want you to get all of the notifications every time a new video posts so subscribe 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 now let's go back to our regularly scheduled program is there anything that you would want to share with your mom when she's watching this that you want to say that you're grateful for that she's actually yeah. taught you that now is showing up in your work ethic yes my mom has taught me a lot growing up she's taught me how to stand above anything how to work hard for what I want, to always believe in myself, and to always keep going and to never give up because she never did. And so, Mom, I love you. <laughs> yes, I love that. I love that. I love that, Mercedes. So let's talk to the girls that are currently in college, okay? okay? And they said, oh, I love what she's doing. Mm -hmm. I would like to do something like that, but I don't know where to start. Yeah. I don't know if I should start right now. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? I would tell them just go for it. And where to start, you can always go to anyone. You can come to me, you can DM me, you can text me. I have friends that text me like, hey, how'd you get that website? Or what template did you use? Or, you know, who's your vendor? Not the vendor. <laughs> 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 you can't have these lashes. I'll sell them to you, but you can't have these lashes, okay? <laughs> I'm not selling my business, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I look not the vendor, but you're going to share some game with yes, them, right? Yes, I'll give them a website, a wholesale website where they can buy things for cheaper to start out. And all you have to do is start with the logo. So I'll send them to like um, a logo artist. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah to a graphic <laughs> a artist, artist so they can know how to yes, actually like go and start with their logo. to start branding yourself first. Mm. Something to show people who you are so whenever they see it, they know it's you. Yeah. And then your products come right behind it mm -hmm. so whatever you want to sell make sure it's something that you're passionate about something that you yourself need and just make sure that it's something you will put your all into yes I completely agree with that I think that that's great Mercedes you mm -hmm. say something that you would put your all into yes just because she's selling lashes don't mean you gonna do great at selling lashes yeah. find something that you're passionate about yeah. and sell that yeah that's the thing <laughs> Yes, and you don't always have to sell something. It could be a service. Yes. You know, something that you're good at. You may be good at writing papers. You know? mm -hmm. And there's always people looking yep. to get their papers written. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Even in college. Just whatever you love to do, just never do it for free. You better come on and say it. She <laughs> say just whatever you love to do, never do it for free. Hashtag Mercedes said that. And you'll find passion in it. <laughs> You'll find passion in it because you're getting paid, and a right? Lifestyle. And a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is really, really good. Um, if you think about knowing where you want to be, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people that we may see out there that we say, this is my inspiration or a role model for me. Who is your role model? What's your inspiration? You know, someone that you look up to that you want to model some of the things that they've done. Yes, well, my aunt and uncle, Alicia and Charles Johnson, are big inspirations for me. I see how they've taken their business and expanded on it, and they're really good at it. They market their business well, and all of their clients are actually referrals. Oh, I love that. Yes. yes. So yes. building relationships with your clients and your clientele and the people around you is really big for your business because it's the people who you do business with that will help your business grow. Come on. Come on. Yes. I love that. And I'm so happy you said that because a lot of people always ask me, you know, are you still doing um, life coaching with teens? The answer is yes. You mm -hmm. never see me post about it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I stay booked. Exactly. Due to client referrals. Yes. I don't have to actually sell the service. Yes, building relationships is very important in the yes. business world. In anything, you have to build relationships 
trusting relationships. You have to have integrity with everyone. Never, you know, fight your way to the top. Or, yeah. You know. Yeah, don't, it's not going to get you nowhere. Exactly. And the truth is, when you're honest and authentic, mm -hmm. it returns to you a hundredfold. Exactly. It returns to you a hundredfold. And I think that that just goes back to biblical principles. Like the truth of the matter is, if you're doing it God's way, it's mm -hmm. not going to fail. Yes. But if you're trying to do it your way mm -hmm. and, you you know, like you got to step on this person in order to get to this place. Yes. You, and you wonder why you're always like searching and trying to get to the next level and you're yes. never there. It's simply because you're not doing it the way God intended. Yes. My friend, just saying. So I say my aunt and uncle because they inspire me to do more, to work hard, to just go after what I believe in. Mm -hmm. And they really help me with any questions I have, anything, and they never doubt me. You know, they always just show me ways to do it better. You yeah. Know? And I really appreciate that from them. They're a really big help. Yes. I love that, love that, love that, Mercedes. Okay. So let's share with everyone where they can actually purchase your products. Okay. Or hire you for your services mm -hmm. with doing hair. Let's share all of that information with them. Um, and we're going to put the links below as well. Okay. So Ben's Beauty Bar is at bensbeautybar.com. On Instagram, Ben's Beauty Bar. For your hair needs, it's Book with Ben's. B-O-O-K-W, Ben's. I love it. Book with Benz. Y'all see how she played on Mercedes Benz? Just saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, Mom, you named her Mercedes, and she made sure to make it into something that's yes. profitable. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Mercedes, I truly appreciate you coming here to share this information with us, yes. taking out the time, and truly living your vision yes. versus just creating it, you know, talking about exactly. it, but you're walking it. And so that's such it. a great inspiration. Yes. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're so welcome, girl. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> Y'all support her, Ben's Beauty Bar. Make sure you support this girl right here. She got a lot of things in store. Coming up next, teenpreneur known behind the brand Haley Kisses joins her mom to talk about not only her entrepreneurship as a teen, but what to look for in the future. <laughs>